show the agent how you've come to your offer and be so open and honest and transparent about it, it's almost like you're talking to your best friend. Try that, because I promise you the agent will respect your offer more than if you just said, right, it's on the market for 135, I don't believe it's worth that, I will offer you 95,000. If the agent says that's too low, and you then go on to say, well, you have an obligation to present that offer to the customer, then you are right. But that's just gonna piss the agent off. That's not, that's just gonna not want them to, that's gonna make them not want to work with you. Because you've come across as a, someone who's just gonna offer cheeky offers. So they're just not interested in you. Because remember again, the agent owes you nothing and you are not the agent's customer, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer. The seller is the customer. And in any business anywhere in the world, you have to look after your customers. So actually the agent is, their job is to look after the seller and to advise the seller and to help the seller as much as they possibly can. But also that agent has to go to your seller, uh, sorry, that agent has to go to their customer and present your cheeky offer to them. Now, obviously they want to get a sale, so they're going to try, but, they have to take that brunt. Now, most sellers will then criticize the agent for bringing them shitty offers for some reason, even though it's not the agent making the offer. And then the buyer gets aggy and aggravated with the agent, even though it's not the agent selling the property. Poor old agents. Anyway, what I'm saying here is when you present your offer to the agent, present your evidence present your calculations and be brutally open about it. Let them know how much profit you plan to make and why. Look, the agent's not stupid. You're not going to be the first buyer they've spoken to and you're definitely not going to be you're definitely not going to be the buying the first property they've ever sold. So, you can you can guarantee if you're open and honest with that agent, they will already know the information you give them, but you'll then become the honest buyer and you will then become appealing to them because they know that they can trust you and they have transparency with you. It also gives them something to go to their seller with. They can go to their seller and say, hi Mr and Mrs Seller, I've got a buyer, he's a very reliable buyer, he's already proved that he can purchase this property quickly and move forward. He has offered, he's made you an offer and this is how he's calculated it. The property, once it's completely refurbished, is worth 135,000. It, re it will require 15,000 pounds to bring it up to that standard. There are gonna be costs such as stamp duty, legal costs, survey, and borrowing costs, which are gonna cost him around 6,000 pounds. So therefore, the break-even amount is 114,000 pounds but he is an investor, so he needs to be able to make a profit, otherwise there's no point in him buying an investment property. So he has made you an offer of 95,000 pounds. That will give him profit of this. And he can progress with this quickly. Now, I'm not saying a seller will instantly accept that because you've given the information, but it's all about increasing your chances, increasing the odds. Now, the odds are higher. You are more likely to get that purchase agreed than you would have been if you hadn't have done that. Now that's not to say that the owner wouldn't accept the offer if you had have been cheeky, but I'm just saying there's less chance. Might be slightly less, might be majorly less chance, but there is less chance. And that's what this is all about. It's all about increasing your chances, increasing the odds in your favor. So share that with the with the agent and let give them something to work with. 